before we only had these first two lines uh, running because we commented out everything below it. So I uncommented out all the other good constructors. I did choose these values very carefully right here and you can see them happen here. So we made a three of diamonds. We made it both ways. We made it with a integer and a string. And then we made it with an integer and an integer. So we tested both constructors and built the same three of diamonds card. After that, I did a rank one, which is an ace of diamonds. And you see that built right here. And again, I did a capital D because I wanted to make sure this one worked with a lowercase and I tested the capital to make sure the capital works. Now, why am I building an ace? Wait, that's not it. Why am I building an ace here? Well, what's the lowest rank that's valid? The lowest valid rank is one. So what I'm doing, this is called boundary testing. You test the lowest valid value and you test the highest valid value. What's the highest value would be a king and that would be a 13. Now, when I'm building the 13, uh, I'm expecting to see a king and you can see the output right there happens to be a king. That's good. That's these two lines. Next, we're going to build a king, uh, same suit, except we're going to test uh, the constructor that takes two integers and it does build a king of clubs right there. You can get all of the good cards working without any if statements in your constructor because I didn't send any bad values. However, we're about to send bad values. So you're going to need if statements for the next part.